standard denominator, and we have the square root of 63. Our rate is will be the square root of 28 plus 32 over the square root of 124. So we are going to simplify this problem. So we have here the root of 63. Is, this is our perfect square, but we can have perfect square on this root of 63. So we can have here the root of 9 times 7 gave us 63. And so this one also, the square root of 4 times 7, we got 4 is the perfect square, plus 32, all over, this one is the square root of 16 times 7. It's because it's just 7 times 7, you offer the equal to 4, you get the 2, you get the 4, 7 times 1 is 7, because 4 equals 2, or is 11. So it means that, now looking at it here, we can have, the square root of this 9 is 3, the root of 7, and it's open, the square root of 4 is 2, the root of 7, plus 32, or oh, well, the square root of 16 is 4, the root of 7, and the plus is. So we can have here 4 here 1 time, 4 here 8 times. So we can now say, we we'll multiply this 3 to the root of 4, this is 3 to the root of 7 by everything in this parenthesis. 3 times 2 is 6, and 7 times 7 is the square root of 49. You know the root of 49 is just 7, so we multiply it by 6 plus the root of 3. That's a 3 to the root of 7 times this. 8 gives us 24. The root of 7 over this 7, this root of 7. But mind you, Mind you, this one can be reduced here. This root of 7 and this root of 7 can cancel. 6 times 7 gives us 42 plus 224. So now, final answer will be 20, 42 plus 24 gives us 66. So this is our final answer. I want to say thank you very much for watching. Following for more videos, try to subscribe, share this information with your colleagues. So tell them that we have a mathematics.